Carly, you just got done with your hot lap session out there. Tell us a little bit what the track's like this morning. In one and two, it's super racy on the bottom, and then three and four, I, I didn't really try the top. I tried it for like one lap. It felt really good, so I just gotta run wherever I feel like. What's the, best. the track conditions like? Is it pretty smooth out there? Is where are the ruts um, at? The ruts are like right in the crease. Is like where a lot of the ruts are, but they're not really. Just gotta power through them, kind of. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck today, Carly. It is day two here at the Roseburg Indoor, so it's gonna be a good day. I'm hoping. I start fifth, Carly. Where do you start? First row outside. First row outside. So we're both hopefully hoping to get the W's tonight. I believe it's either five hundred dollars to win or a thousand in my class, and I don't know how much it is for the two fifties. It's gonna be fun. I got for my hot lap session in a little bit. The pits though, everyone already has all their cars out. But otherwise, I think it's gonna be a good day today. Hopefully we can have a solid run. Our goal today is obviously to win the race, but a top three would be good. We got some good competitors here with Jesse and Mike, and then a few other guys up front. So gonna be some good racing. So we are down here on the track in one and two, and they definitely did a little bit of track prep last night by watering the top. At the end of the video yesterday, I said, you know, there's not really a lot of grip up here. Well, they came up here, they plugged the top and put some water in it. And as you can tell, a lot more grippy. In hot laps in the 250 class, I was watching closely and nobody even really tried the top besides a few people. The bottom was mainly where it was at and there's already not as much grip down here as the top. So now we are down here in three and four and one thing I noticed is they did fill in the rut from last night. All right in through here. And then another thing that we kind of noticed about the racetrack is it starts out like really banked getting in the corner down here. But then as you go through it, it flattens out over here. And the reason it's harder to throw a slider down here is since it has so much banking on entry, you carry a lot more speed through the corner. So usually the sliders down here are like way closer. Usually people hit right rear to left front in this area. Are you guys ready to race today though? Rip the lip. Rip the lip, there you go. So we're going to be going out for hot laps soon. All right, so right now before hot laps, since Roseburg decided to take an hour break, we're throwing back to an old game. That's actually my first time playing it. Sprint Cars 2002. I think this is one of the best Xbox, or I guess PS4 games made yet. PS2, yeah. Its game has been, is from a while back. Here, show them. Look at, what, look at the graphics and everything. We're on Icy Eldora, but is getting ready to go out for her A main. My hot laps just got over and it's so rough out there. Like I was bouncing really, really bad, especially down here in three and four. The A mains are gonna go up next. Carly's going out for hers. Like she said earlier, she starts front row outside. I'm hoping for a good run. I believe we're gonna be doing driver intros though soon. And yeah, one and two is definitely my favorite corner. It's so smooth, bottom and top, but three and four is just really rough and there's ruts right on the crease. minute thoughts before we go out. Let's just uh, kind of save our tires, I'd say, and be there at the end for the first 25 laps. And then with about five or 10 to go, then we're gonna get on it. Yeah, we got definitely got our tire compounds figured out. So uh, we gotta play it safe there at the beginning. Hopefully not got, get caught up in any wrecks, but let's just, like that one kid says, rip, rip the lip. Rip the lip.
guys, so my A main is over, I think. So the clutch, we didn't lose the clutch, but the clutch got super, super hot during the race, expanded, and it just, I'll explain it later, but what I'm gonna go right now is I'm gonna go turn some laps in the KX500. I'm gonna have my mom video a little bit. We're just gonna test and tune just for about five or 10 laps and see how well it runs. And then afterwards, I'll explain what happened to my motor. So we just got done running the KX and it was way faster, like way faster than the CR500. I could feel it, the torque was definitely there more than the CR500. We had some technical difficulties with the motor that will be fixed the next time we run it, but a huge shout out to Jim Anderson for giving us the opportunity to run that motor. It, I think it's bad fast. Once we get all the kinks out of it, it's gonna be perfect. Anyway, we're gonna pack up and be on our way home. So we are getting on the road now and on our way home. Re Roseburg was just crazy racing. Like I said, the place feels much faster than Red Bluff. So in the A main, I was running like third. Got up there, was able, and then I think I lost the spot, fell back to fourth. Like I said, I was using my plan of just hanging out, kind of just trying to be there at the end on a California restart and give the leader a shot. But we had clutch issues in the A main. So basically what happened is in hot laps when I went out, the clutch was slipping a little bit. I didn't think it was really bad at all. I thought it might have just been me. So I didn't say anything and that was a rookie mistake. I should have said something like the clutch is slipping. So some stuff happened when in the A main, like I was using it a lot. So I, I don't really know exactly what happened. My dad, I think diagnosed the problem. What really happened to the clutch? I don't know. The oil got hot, expanded. And so it just really didn't work. And the clutch didn't work. We lost our clutch completely. completely. It was taking it out of gear. Like, like when I hit the gas, with the clutch all the way out and hit the gas, the rear tires didn't spin at all. We're either gonna be back here next weekend on a Saturday or two weekends in Red Bluff. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos here at Roseburg. Lots of good racing. Uh, you know, we were in the top five in points to start off the weekend. Wasn't able to really capitalize in the A main. Congrats to Jesse on the win. Uh, he, he dominates everywhere he goes. One of these days we'll give him a run for his money though. And I think Mike Wheeler was second. So good weekend of racing and I'll see you guys all next time. Deuces.